hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is claire fendi if you're watching this video right now you guys want to know how i take my pictures um this is going to be a part one because oh i'm out of breath <sighs> okay so this is going to be a part one because i feel like it's like a lot of information so i'm going to show you guys how to take my pictures today and then on the next on part two which is tomorrow i'm going to show you guys how to edit my pictures finally a lot of people have been asking me so i finally had the time to do it but y'all i'm out of breath right now this is a vlog so i'm about to get something to eat because you never take pictures on an empty stomach because you're gonna look mad and we don't want that I'm gonna drink my vitamin C. And now I'm gonna take my vitamin D. Okay, so we're about to set up. Hopefully you guys can see me clearly. So you will need a tripod and a camera. The camera I use is the Canon T7i. So here's the thing, here's a little small tip. You normally place the camera like this and that will take your pictures vertically. It'll make your pictures come out small. Usually when you record a YouTube video, your camera has to be in this position. But however, we're trying to take some pictures, so we don't want it like that. Um, I found out how to make it vertical. So I want my picture. So you want your pictures to look like this. So what we're gonna do is is basically let me come closer so I can show you guys. So this. So this is called an L bracket. So basically the, the L bracket is there to hold your camera in this direction. So when you take your pictures, it could be super nice. Um, you always want to have this facing up. So you just place it. It has a little screw on there. I got this from Amazon. I got everything from Amazon. Amazon literally has everything that you need. The camera, the equipment, the lighting, which I'm going to get to real soon. So when it's screwed tightly, it will look like this. And then on the bottom part, it's also small screw. So you're going to put the small screw in the bigger part. Sorry for all the background noise. So you want to just screw this one in this part right here. Okay, so this is what the camera is looking like right now. Um, you can move it front and back however you want. So we're going to turn the camera on. I'm about to show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it's looking like. To turn the flash on, there's a button right here for the flash and it will pop out. Um, we're gonna be using a remote for it and since it's a DSLR camera, you have to basically program it to use the remote. You wanna click menu. And click OK. So it's going to be the wireless settings and communications. Um, um, you want to click the Bluetooth function. Now I do have the I do have the app, the Canon app. I do have the Canon app on my phone, and I could use the remote on my phone. I'm going to show you guys how it connects. 
join. Sorry about the screen, guys. Okay, so when it connects, you guys will see it and you also will see it in this direction and you can take a picture like that. But, um, and this is what the picture looked like and it also shows you on here what the picture looks like also. But we're not gonna use that one because I feel like it's just too much. So what you wanna do is go to menu, um, camera function, the wireless communications, setting, and then it should say Bluetooth function. It says smartphone. You want to basically put this on disabled. So when it's on disabled, you can use the wireless remote that came, that came with the camera. So basically, it will be easier and smaller for you got, for you to like hold and stuff. Let's set it on automatic because we're using this. So make sure you guys click the Q. It says single slash continue slash self timer. And then we're just gonna put it at self timer for 10 second um, or remote. And then you can get ready to shoot. Basically you're just gonna click the button like that. Um, I like my pictures to have like a a nice back like I, I like my flash to be on so I'm just gonna put the flash automatically on always take pictures with your flash cuz it'll be way easier to edit and then you could just take pictures while you press the button so these are the trials and yeah so okay so real quick let's talk about lighting so this lighting is from Amazon I has like a shortest with the power cord. Um, it also takes the cord for the power, and it also has a place for the battery. Luckily, I packed my battery with me, so I was able to still use it just in case. And I'm so happy I did it. So it came with a remote. Um, you set it to whatever channel you want, and this is it off. This is what it's given, and you basically want the lighting to be like super perfect and super nice so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys how low it goes like this is it at 99 i'm gonna test it on my face so this is it at zero and then this is it gradually gradually going up and then this is it at 79 And this is it at its strongest level. So what I like about this is that it really like shines on your face. And also, I almost fell. Also, it has like these um, flaps right here. So the lighting can basically bounce back. Um, instead of it just being flat and harsh on your skin, it has a filter that I put right here that you can easily remove. And then it has the flat, the aluminum flats, which I think makes it super brighter, but it don't make it bright to the point where like it's harsh on your skin. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take pictures on the couch because it's like giving me this like nice vibe for some reason. I don't know. It's such a vibe. But I'm just gonna set this up. Put this right here, and then I'm going to bring the camera. And I'm gonna level the camera up a little bit. So I'm gonna bring it down so it can literally catch the lighting. So like right here. I don't know if you guys can see me. And then um, we're just gonna start taking pictures. At any point, if you feel like the lighting is like a little bit too harsh, you can always bring it down some. You can always bring it down some, but I kind of like it super bright, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. My view right here and how I'm gonna take the pictures, I'm gonna basically open the blinds up a little bit so it could bring more lighting into the room. You want as much lighting at 
every corner as you you want a lot of lighting even the back has to be a little bright also because you want it to basically bring the room apart it makes it look super nice so you can the subject can basically be at point and stuff I recently just learned how to I recently just learned how to basically um, make the background a little bit blurry shout out to Zach for teaching me I don't know if you watch this my channel Okay, so I'm gonna just take the I'm gonna take the L bracket out. You guys, mine broke my tripod. I gotta order a new one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to I do it. So you go to menu. Remember we disabled the the wireless function. So we're gonna put it back on smartphone. And then go back to the main one. Y'all took so many cute pictures. So many cute ones. So now we're going to just take our phone. And open the Canon app. And then we're just going to wait for it to get started. After it's joined, all the pictures will show up on here. Some of them are still loading. All we have to do, I took 110 pictures, you guys. So, all we're going to do is click select and then click the checks because that's all I did today was take pictures. There's no videos on here. So, after I'm done that, I'm going to click import. When I click import, the camera automatically shut off as it begins to download. So, we're just going to wait for it to download 110 photos. So, yeah yeah guys so this is basically what i do when i take my pictures um what i like about the cast bluetooth so the bluetooth can like even if you're outside because the g7x you need wi-fi to connect the pictures to send them sometimes i connect both of the cameras to get there and just send it to the t7i to send to my phone but i feel like that's a little too much so this is why i just vlog on here but um yeah so this is basically what i do um I'm going to conclude this video tomorrow. I'm going to show you guys how to edit. And yeah, we're going to edit the pictures that we just took today. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot from it. Like some things that I didn't know was about the L bracket. That's something I had to research for myself to find out because I was tired of asking people to take my pictures. Sometimes people don't even feel like it. And you really got to have a lot of patience to take my pictures. You got to stay at eye level. You got to make sure, you know, the camera is straight and not crooked. Because if it's crooked, I'm not going to like it. I'm really picky. So I feel like getting the L bracket was very, very affordable and very, very convenient. So I'm going to leave all the link down below. And hopefully you guys learn something like i really enjoy teaching people new things because i feel like i had to find this out for myself and if i can help you guys find out certain stuff then i will i'm going to teach you guys how to edit my selfies how to edit my um my body pictures i don't really do too much so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video and be sure to comment down below anything you guys like to see next and yeah bye guys